Dilate the circle below with a scale factor of 3 and a center of dilation at the origin. So on this, you know, you need to have a center of dilation and scale factor and either a pre-image or image to dilate it, right? So what's the radius or distance from center to B? 2. So now what do you do? You multiply by the, by the scale factor, which is 3. So now you go from the center, you go 6. 2, 4, 6. So here you put, here you put B prime. Pre-image is the before image with the prime is after. So you do the same thing for A. So it's 2, 4, 6. 2, 4, 6, D prime, 2, 4, 6, C prime. So here's the circle. Okay, so our goal is to prove those two circles are similar. Okay, so let's look at all the other measurements. So what is the distance from point D to B? D to B is... Four units, and what is D to B, segment D to B called? It's a diameter of a circle, right? The line that goes through the center to the edge of the circle. What is the distance from D prime to B prime? D prime to B prime is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 12 units. And that's again diameter of a image. Right? This is a diameter of the image after transform. What is the rotation of a oh, ratio? That's a typo. What is the ratio of the two diameters? 4 to 12, the ratio. And you need to simplify it to 1, 2, 3, because it got affected by its scale factor, right? It got multiplied by 3. Oh, it says the large to small. Yes, good point. So it is 12 to 4. Thank you. Then it's 3 to 1. I'll give you the egg at the end of the class. What is the circumference of the pre-image? How do you find the circumference? It is 2 pi r. So pre-image, what's the radius of the pre-image? 2. So it's 2 times pi times 2, which is 4 pi. Circumference, the perimeter of the circle. The length around the circle. What is the circumference of the image? What's the radius of the image? 6. So it's 2 pi r, which is 6. So you get 12 pi. So again, what is the ratio of the circumference? Large to small. 12 pi to 4 pi, which is again 3 to 1. Are they the same? That means what? They are proportional, right? So what is the measure of angle AOB? Angle AOB. AOB is what? What's the length, I mean, measure of this angle? Hmm? Right angle, it's 90. What about A prime O B prime? So from here to there, what angle is it? Still same angle, which is 90. Now, do you guys remember the two important facts about similarity? Their angle must be... Angle must be always congruent. And size must be what? Proportional. Remember the two very important things to be similar, 
the angle must be congruent and size must be proportional. Is that, isn't that what we are seeing? A measure of COA. COA. Oh, what's that angle? Straight line, 180. What about C prime O A prime? Still 180. Do you see how their angles are still the same? So are those two circles similar? So yes. Yes. Two circles are similar because what? Angles are congruent. I'll write it. Because the angles are congruent and sides are proportional, similar. Guys, if you see this type of question on the test, now we know all circles will be similar, right? But if they ask you a question, is this ink circle similar to that circle? Can you just say yes because all circles are similar? No. You should now know that all circles are similar, but why? Because their angles, and si angles are congruent and sides are proportional. Sometimes you have to translate it to map one to the other. Here, how can you map this big circle or this small circle onto this big one? You're going to just dilate it by scale factor of three, right? So then this will map onto that, meaning it will overlap on that circle. If you have a question like here, this circle and that, you can say got dilated by scale factor of sum, and you have to say what? Shift few five units to the right, up three will map onto the other. You have to say that. You cannot just say they're circles, so they are all similar. 